I can identify multiplication patterns in place value. In this lesson, we're going to look at just how place value works with some multiplication patterns and practice some multiplying by tens and hundreds. So first, we want to look at place value. Here's a little place value chart that goes from hundredths all the way up to thousands. You have your ones, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, some basic place values. And then you also have your decimals, your tenths, and your hundredths. Basically, the way place value works is that each place value, every time you go from one to the one to the, if you every time you go to the left, you're multiplying by 10, or you're dividing by 10 going to the right. So three hundredths, if I multiply that by 10, I'd have three tenths. If I did three tenths times 10, I have three ones. Just like each place value, when I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I now have one ten and zero ones. Once you hit 10 in a given place value, you have increased the next place value. So each place value is 10 times the one to its right. When I have 10 ones, that equals 110. Or basically 10 times one equals 10. 10 tens equals 100. Or 10 times 10 equals 100. We can easily multiply by tens and hundreds as well. So you have 5 times 10 is 50. Well, really what you need to know is 5 times 1 is 5, and then you can put the zeros. There's a distinct pattern here. 5 times 100 is 500. That's simple. I just count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Okay, great. But there's also a pattern. 5 times 1 is 5, and you take the two zeros, you put them in your answer. Basically, I take in my multiplication, my two factors. All the zeros I have that start it, I can take them and put them in the product. Then I just multiply the two numbers I have left. 5 times 1 is 5, and there's three zeros here, so three zeros, so it becomes 5,000. Down here I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 5 times 1 is 5, so then I put 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and my answer is 50,000. Here's where you get a little bit tricky. When you have a problem that's 5 times 6, there's no zero, so I just do 5 times 6, and I get 30. Don't get confused by that, because then 5 times 60. Well, I have one zero, so after I do five times six, I'm going to add one zero. So five times six is 30, but I have to add one zero, so my answer is actually 300. You'll get a product of 300. Again, five times six is 30, and this time I add two zeros, and that becomes 3,000. So five times 600 is 3,000. Five times six is 30. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so 5 times 6,000 becomes 30,000. I can identify multiplication patterns in place value. It's pretty simple. You just multiply 5 times 6 and then add in your zeros. See if you can figure out what 5 times 60,000 is.